What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. So today I've got my hands on the latest Honor Watch GS Pro. So this is Honor's first rugged smartwatch. It's built with durability in mind with military standard 810G rating along with 5ATM water resistance, built-in dual satellite GPS, supports Bluetooth phone calls and has a massive battery life. Yes, as soon as this was announced, I was super excited. You guys already know that I love my smartwatches and I think you can tell in the way that I actually review them. Now check out that screen quality. Now we are talking about a 1.39 inch AMOLED display with a screen resolution of 454 by 454. So a higher screen resolution than the usual 300 by 300 smartwatches that we are used to seeing. And you can absolutely tell the difference. Look at that beautiful screen. Now, this watch is powered by the energy efficient Kirin A1 chipset. And this watch promises a 25 day battery life, which is already incredible in its own right. But that's not all. If you were to keep GPS on constantly in outdoor GPS mode, be that for a very long outdoor activity or hike, this watch will last around 100 hours. That's over four day battery life with GPS outdoor mode constantly on. And I can tell you right now, this beats most of the competing outdoor smartwatches out there in terms of battery performance. Now, build quality, you have stainless steel bezel with time markings going all the way around and finished in black. They're calling it charcoal black. And you can also pick this up in marl white and camo blue. So beautiful looking screen. Lovely bezels, really nice design. Um, it doesn't feel really bulky like most outdoor sports watches do. This almost seems perfect size-wise, especially for my wrist. Now here's the interesting part. The body is actually made from reinforced polycarbonate fiber, which means you have a lighter watch, which feels more comfortable to wear, but at the same time, military standard durability tested. And in case you're wondering, the watch weighs 75 grams with the straps on. Now, talking about the straps, we have silicone straps finished in black. They can be removed and replaced, but it looks like you're going to be replacing them with honor bands until universal straps become available, which I'm sure they will. And this is how the watch looks on my wrist. So you can see it's quite a big watch, but it's no bigger than the Samsung Galaxy watch, which I have on my other wrist. So you can see they're fairly similar in size. And I do like how the watch feels on the wrist. It's comfortable, it's light, it looks the business. And the best part is it's durable. Um, if I accidentally hit my hand against certain surfaces, it's not gonna damage the watch. It's built to last. And it's not that heavy, so my hand is not getting weighed down. And if you're wondering, I have a wrist circumference of seven inches. So yes, it is a large watch, big screen watch, um, ultra tough, ultra durable. And above all, it is comfortable. So very nice indeed. Now on the side, we have two buttons. The top one is a power button and the bottom one is a workout button. On the other side, there is nothing. And at the bottom, you will find your all day heart rate sensor and charger pins. I'll quickly show you the charger. So in the box, you get a standard charging plate and a type C to type C cable. And the charging plate is the same that we've seen in the past Magic Watch 2 and also the Huawei GT watch. So it's the same charger. You just place it on top it's a magnetic charger and you can then just plug in the USB-C cable. Now it does take two hours to fully charge the 790 milliamp hour battery. That's right, 790 milliamp hours people. So big battery in the smartwatch and I'm glad to see that the watch is not that thick. We're looking at around 13.6 millimeters thickness. So good job by Honor. They managed to give us a big battery and still keep things nice and compact. Now the watch is running on as custom OS, which is smooth and fast in operation, very easy to use, and the touchscreen is very responsive. Now this watch is jam packed with health features. You have over a hundred workout modes to choose from and also exclusive features for hiking, skiing and swimming. And especially for outdoor activity, this smartwatch can determine sunset and sunrise, moonset and moonrise, tide conditions and give you alerts for bad weather. You also have route back. So the integrated dual satellite GPS enables you to route back to your starting location without even needing your smartphone. And another incredible feature is whilst swimming, this smartwatch will be able to check your heart rate underwater. I have not seen that done before. 
So I have to test that out right now. So water's filled up here, watch is on. So we're gonna see if the heart rate sensor works underwater. So let's activate pool swim. So as if we are, so as if we are going for a swim. As soon as that shows a reading, I'm gonna drop my arm into the water. So here we go. So you can see underwater, we are getting a reading. So I'm 97 right now, 96, 93, and the screen turns off. The screen activated underwater when I flicked it, and you can see my heart rate is being calculated in real time. So quite impressed, heart rate sensor is working underwater, people. So you are pretty much covered for your daily health, which includes step counter, calories, distance, automatic sleep and stress tracking, and lots, lots more. Now, all your health activities can be viewed from the smartphone app, which is called Huawei Health, and it's available for both Android and iOS. So quick look at the smartphone app. You can see the activities that I've done so far, my heart rate, my sleep. Now, quickly have a look at the sleep monitoring. I was in bed by midnight, and I woke up at 6.37. It gives you a score and gives you advice on how to improve your sleep. I think sleep tracking is one of the most important features in a smartwatch and it has to be accurate. If you can get good sleep and tips on how to sleep better, then your performance throughout the day, be it for work or whatever you do, will be much better. So sleep is very important. This tracks your sleep automatic, but it also tracks your stress. So check out the stress levels. It gives you a little pie chart at the bottom telling you what the different colors stand for. So high, medium, normal, and relaxed. So it looks like my stress levels are normal and relaxed, mostly normal. So that's my range and that's my average, 31. SpO2 levels can also be checked. It will tell you your lowest and your highest. That's your health at a glance. Right at the top, you'll get your step counter. So it'll tell you the steps you've taken in the day with your distance, calories, and the stairs and timing as well. Now, if you click on exercise, you can initiate an exercise directly from the phone. If you click on devices, you can select your watch, model number, and then it will give you information like battery, steps, calories, distance again, watch faces. Now you can install watch faces directly on the watch or you can install them from the smartphone app. So from here, you can actually download a massive library of watch faces and there are a lot to choose from and a lot of different styles. There's something for everyone. And once you install it, if you click on mine, these are all the watch faces that I already have on the watch. You can then manage them, remove what you don't want or keep. And you can save hundreds of watch faces. You're not going to run out of storage as such. You have options for health monitoring, music, alarm, weather, and favorite contacts. I'll show you your health monitoring options. So Huawei True Sleep is for your sleep tracking, and I've got that on. Activity reminder, so if you haven't moved much for over an hour, it will remind you to start moving. Now, you've got continuous heart rate monitoring. I've enabled it automatic stress test and I've enabled that too. Now, if you don't want continuous heart rate testing on, you can easily change that to smart real time and you can set alerts when the heart rate reaches a certain level and so on and so forth. Now you've got your notifications, device settings, restore factory and firmware updates. So those are your basic options. You've got a me section over here as well, where you can actually check out your medals, your achievements, um, your profile, your plans. And there are also experimental features which you can test out a bit like um, better testing some new features if you want to. So time for a closer look at the watch features. So here is your default watch face and it's one of my favorites actually. It's actually a nice informative watch face. So default watch face, if you want to change, keep the center pressed, you would feel some haptic feedback to any of these watch faces by simply tapping on them. And I will now give you a few examples of the selection of watch faces available on this watch. And if you're wondering how long it takes to actually download a watch face, let's do one right now in real time. 
So let's select a watch face. That looks interesting. Let's do this one. This is the watch face I want to download. You can see the size 361 KB. So that's less than half a megabyte. So hit install, installing, and done. That is it. That is how fast it downloaded instantly. Just transferring it from the phone to the watch is what we were waiting for. And you can see the watch face is downloaded. So it's very fast. Let's do another one. And there is a never ending list of watch faces. They just keep loading. You're definitely not going to get bored of these watch faces. So let's try one of these colorful ones just to see how it looks. So this one here, it's exactly half a megabyte. So let's try this one out, shall we? Install. So it's already downloaded. It's now transferring to the watch. And boom, it's done. And look how nice these watch faces look. Amazing, amazing. I'm absolutely amazed by this watch. The Honor Watch GS Pro has already blew my mind and I've only got halfway through the video. Okay, let's just change to the camo watch face. That looks pretty cool. I like this watch face, this looks nice. Now let's keep going through the features. I'm gonna swipe down from the top and that will give you your quick toggles. So screen on, find my phone, alarms, settings, and do not disturb along with some connection information and battery. Now, if we swipe to the right, you've got your health rings. So the more active you are, the more they will close. If we keep going, you've got your music. So you can play music directly from your phone or you can have music stored on the internal storage. Now, this is something that I should have shown you. So let's hit music, manage music. So from the smartphone app, it will tell you watch storage two gigs. So you've got two gigs of space to store your music. So there is one track I copied over. I'm just going to play it briefly. So you've got volume control, the name of the track at the top. I pause it. You can skip tracks and you can change the storage. So, so that song was stored on the internal storage. I copied it over using the software. So you just hit add songs and any song you have saved on your phone, you can transfer it right over mp3s now the other options you have is phone so you can control the music playing directly on your phone so that becomes a music remote control now you've got your local weather stress levels so i got stress levels automatic so it will be constantly testing my stress levels throughout the day you've got your all day heart rate sensor again you can see the timings at the bottom and that brings you back. If you swipe to the left, you've got the same functions, heart rate, stress, weather, music, and your health rings, and then you're back to the watch face. If you swipe up from the bottom, your emails and notifications will come through. They are read only, so you can open them and you can read them, but you can't reply on them. And you can see that the text is nice and big and easy to read. Now, before we have a look at the apps, you've got Bluetooth phone calls. So what that means is, if someone calls me, I am gonna test this right now. We're gonna test the call quality Okay, I'll answer the call. I can't show you the screen because it's got my phone number on there proper. So here is an example of the audio quality with Bluetooth phone calls. So I am calling myself from one phone to another phone and I've taken the call directly on my watch. And uh, this is what you can expect in terms of audio quality. Now let's reverse things. So now I've switched things around. I am now talking directly into my watch with my smartphone on loudspeaker. So this should give you a good idea of what the microphone is like in the actual smartwatch. Now, whilst you're at the home screen, if you tap the top button, it will show you all your apps and I'll go through them with you. You have workout, workout records, workout status, heart rate, SpO2, activity records, sleep, stress, breathing exercises, call log, contacts. So if you want, you can go into contacts and you can directly choose a contact and initiate a phone call directly to them. And of course it will use Bluetooth connection with your smartphone in order to make that phone call. Um, you've got music, remote shutter, and I will test that out for you right now. So no matter what you're doing on your phone, if you hit remote shutter, the camera just opens and it does what it says on the tin. It's a remote shutter so you can take pictures. So that's your remote shutter. You've got air pressure built in compass, notifications, weather, stopwatch, timer, alarm, torch, find phone and settings. And I'll quickly skim through the settings. You've got earbuds so you can actually connect to your Bluetooth earbuds or earphones by simply tapping that. It will search and connect. You've got display settings, sounds, vibration, do not disturb. Down button can be customized. So 
Right now it's set on workouts, but you can cut, you can customize it to do anything you like from this list. So music, notifications, stopwatch, alarm, torch, find phone, settings. Any of these functions can be activated by just pressing the bottom button. I think workout is good. Now, if we keep going, you've got one hop, which is inactive if I tap it. So that's a custom feature. I've not heard of this. Um, it's called one hop. I'm gonna test this out right now. So it's activated, right? So I've got an image that I wanna share. So it's saying, hold your watch against the back of your phone to create and transfer custom watch faces. So you're telling me I can just do that. Loading. I felt a vibration by the way, that's why. Wow, that is incredible. It actually worked. So one hop, a feature which I've never heard of. I just tried this out by chance. You can create custom watch faces using pictures. So that's me making some chicken curry people. That's right, I like to cook in my spare time. And that spare time I don't get. I put scotch bonnet chilies in that and it came out really nice. So anyway, scotch bonnet chili wallpaper is in front of me right now. That's crazy, you know, that is crazy. Okay, I better change it. We've got system, about. Click on system and you've got your usual options there, including disconnect and reset. And you've got about. So already I've done two firmware updates whilst testing this watch. So I've had this watch on my wrist for a few days and I've been testing it out. I've been testing the sleep tracking and the stress tracking, which is why I do have quite a bit of information on this watch. And the battery doesn't look like it wants to get rinsed anytime soon. So long lasting battery is definitely what you can expect in this watch. If you guys follow my channel, you know what it's time for. It's time for our simultaneous heart rate tests. So I'm wearing two smartwatches. So the Honor Watch GS Pro versus the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. Now the Honor Watch is priced £249 and the Galaxy Watch is priced £409. So a huge difference in price, but what we want to know is how accurate is the heart rate sensor on the Honor Watch? Now from my experience, I already know the Honor Watches have great heart rate sensors, but you know me guys, I can't help myself. I have to compare and I have to test. So 103 on the Honor Watch GS Pro and the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 is now 99. Spot on people. So an accurate heart rate sensor is what you're gonna get in the Honor Watch GS Pro. So while we're here, we're gonna do a simultaneous screen on hand raise test. Okay, I'm gonna raise my hand and we're gonna see which one turns on quicker. So one, two, three, here we go. So Galaxy Watch took that one. Let's try again. One, two, three, here we go. That looked like the same time to me, exactly the same time. So third time, lucky, we're gonna see who takes this exactly the same guys. So the Samsung Galaxy Watch and the Apple Watch have the fastest screen on hand raise you can get. And the Honor GS Pro does not disappoint. It has an equally fast screen on hand raise. Now there is another feature that needs to be mentioned. It's the always on display. You can select your always on display. So you can choose any of these watch faces to be your always on display. That is quite awesome. So this is gonna be my always on display. This will cut your battery time in half and it will also disable raise to wake. Okay, so we're waiting for the always on display. Let's see what happens. There we go. Always on display and it's in color. I like that. Yes, it's gonna half your battery, but sometimes you just want an always on display and, and for those occasions, why not? You know what? I'm actually gonna try a different one because that also impressed me. Always on. Let's try this one, light speed. Okay. So when the screen times out, the always on kicks in. There we go. It's like having two different screens, that is cool. But when you raise your hand, it no longer does anything. That feature is switched off while you've got always on. But you can always double tap the display or press any button on the side and that will activate the watch. So that has to be one of the best always on screens that I've experienced so far. A game changing feature right there. Now I'm gonna do a workout just to show you how it works. Simple outdoor walk is what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna select it. It says wear your watch a finger's width above your wrist. Finger's width above your wrist. That's exactly what I've done. It gives you the GPS status, heart rate is on. It says, please go outdoors to collaborate the GPS. Obviously I'm not outdoors, but I am going right now. So let's go.
So that's my workout done. And when you stop walking, you can see it stops counting. So I'm going to stop the workout now. Workout paused. Hit stop, end workout. Workout ended. And that's it. That's my outdoor walk logged. So you can see I've done 0 0.37 kilometers, 6 minutes, 51 calories. And that was my fastest pace, average speed, average pace. Keep going. You've got your steps, 457 steps. You can see my average stride, 81 centimeters. Wow. And you've got your altitude, heart rate. So maximum heart rate went to 144 and minimum went to 87. And some of you are going to be thinking, man, you were walking and you went to 144 heart rate. No, the watch is not faulty. This is true. If you watch my other smartwatch videos, you will know that Chiggs is kind of unhealthy at the moment. But anyway, let's keep going. You've got your heart rate zones. You can see fat burning is maxed out there, which is a good thing. So when you're unhealthy, like me, um, your fat burning will accelerate fast because your heart rate will jump to 140. And when your heart rate is that high, you're going to be burning the calories much faster. So it works in a positive way as well. So let's keep going. You've got your pace. Look how detailed the report is. I thought it will end soon, but it keeps going. Training effect recovery time, your VO2 max, and then you can share your fitness records via the health app. I'm going to show you the smartphone app and we are going to very quickly sync that. And you can see it's already synced. Exercise records, tap it, and there you go. These are all my exercises. It will show you the route of your walk and I was only going up and down my driveway. And over here you can see the details, duration and calories. If we hit charts, you can get detailed information as shown on the watch. But of course you can view it all on a bigger screen. So here are all the details as well. So it gives you a performance report at the end. So letting you know how well you did, etc. So the fitness features are great and I really like how much detail it gives you. So there you have it guys. That was the Honor Watch GS Pro. Now this watch is an inspiration. It's a giant leap from their last smartwatch. This is a company which strives forward to give the people not only their money's worth, but technology to improve the quality of your life. Yes, Honor, you've done it right. Now the Honor Watch GS Pro would be priced around 250 and I don't even know how that's possible. You have a stunning flagship AMOLED display with a higher resolution than Samsung's and Apple's flagship smartwatches. Now the Honor Watch GS Pro also has a long list of features. We are talking about 5 ATM water resistance, military standard durability, SPO2, stainless steel bezels, automatic sleep tracking, automatic stress tracking, dual satellite GPS, lots of sensors, Kirin A1 chipset, Bluetooth phone calls, 25 day battery life. And as you saw in my demonstrations, extensive health features. And you also have a surprising underwater heart rate sensor and lots, lots more. There are too many features to list and mention right now. So when you start using the watch, you will discover new things every day. Now, if you want to see where this watch ranks in my smartwatch chart, then head over to chickstech.com and view my charts at your leisure. So bottom line, an affordable premium flagship smartwatch designed for fitness, sports and outdoor activities. Now, I must say, this is the most attractive rugged smartwatch I have come across so far. Now, usually rugged, durable smartwatches are big and bulky and don't look very smart in appearance. Just check out the design of this smartwatch. They went for a minimalistic look with stainless steel bezels. This smartwatch will look good on any occasion. It means the Honor Watch GS Pro can easily be your all-rounder daily driver smartwatch. And I have to say the price is perfect. You cannot get a smartwatch like this, this quality with these features for 250. That is the ultimate bottom line right there. Bang for your buck, on your wrist, everyone's happy. I can tell you right now, this one is going to sell out fast. And I just hope that the price stays at 250. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check it out for yourselves. That's all for this video. If you have any questions, fire them in the comments and I'll do my best to reply. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.